I remember it was one of my first counseling sessions and I was describing some of the um, things and the abuse that I had gone through and I remember the counselor said in five years you probably would have been dead that he had escalated so fast and so much and the situation was so bad that I probably would have been dead in five years. I had been kind of planning on leaving and I had talked to my dad up in Michigan and um, he had sent me a check to be able to get my own apartment. Well the check came when my ex-husband was home and he wanted it and we fought over it and I received a black eye. I was choked. Um, An assistant? Yeah. Um, and he, I, he didn't win. <laughs> you got the chance. And I, yeah, <laughs> I held on to it. And um, I actually, at that point, had told him um, I had gotten a knife out of the drawer. And I told him that this was not going to end well. Either I was going to kill him or myself. And I couldn't live like this anymore. I think that was the final straw. <laughs> our time she's not going to go through with this I know she's not but she did and I was really surprised and then every step she got she got taller she got stronger she got braver you know and she never backed down she did have some family support and that was wonderful and we did everything we could but she did it you know, and I think that's a testimony that I think the problem is, and not just women in this shelter, but people in general, they don't want to take the hard way. They don't want to do the work that it takes to get what you want. You know, I think too many people think there's got to be a fast track. Somebody's going to hand it to you, and that's not going to happen. I think when you're in the situation, it's not as you don't perceive it to be as bad because you live with it every day. Um, so you really don't think about how bad it is. It's just kind of your life in a way. You know it's bad, you know it's wrong, but at the same time you live it. And when you get an outside perspective, that's when you go, wait a minute. <laughs> Is it really that bad? You know, and it was. It was a very toxic, awful environment to be in. I love my job. I, you know, I have my cute little house and I have the greatest kid ever. I mean, he's just, he's such a good boy. and. Um, so smart and funny and athletic and I could go on and on for days. <laughs> so, you know, I have friends here and I'm really glad I stayed in Savannah. And a lot of the reason I stayed in Savannah was because of the safe shelter and Cheryl and the help that I received here.